sometimes rivers light on fire. Yeah, the, the actual river itself can light on fire. This photo is from the Cuyahoga River in Cleveland, Ohio from 1969. So the Cuyahoga River before this incident had caught on fire around a dozen or so times before this one and people just really did not give a shit. This was due to the absolutely insane amounts of pollution that were in this river. There was oil, there was trash, there was dead animals, there was dead plants, there was who the fuck knows what else, but it was disgusting. Apparently, if you fell into the river, the water was so disgusting and polluted and full of germs that you basically had to go to the hospital. And so, due to largely the oil and trash content of this, if there was a fire anywhere close to a river, for example on a boat or a dock or something, the whole river was liable to just light up. And the Cuyahoga River is somehow not the only river to have caught fire. This is the Rouge River that caught fire just outside of Detroit, Michigan. This was also in 1969, a couple months before the Cuyahoga one. And again, due to the absolutely insane levels of pollution in this river, it had so much garbage and oil and stuff in it that, again, it caught fire. Now, both of these fires were relatively small and put out pretty easily with minimal damage and, as far as I'm aware, no loss of life, but both of them kind of spurred to action. People being like, hey, hey, maybe, maybe it's not a good thing that actual water is catching on fire. Often enough that it's happened multiple times. Maybe we should do something about that. So these couple incidents of actual rivers lighting on fire due to pollution, as well as a number of other environmental disasters and incidents, kind of sparked the early stages of environmental, I guess, activism, where people have been like, hey, maybe, maybe this is a bad thing that we're doing here. This was kind of some of the very first leadoffs to both um, environmental activists and environmental cleaning up agencies and stuff, as well as government policies to be like, hey, stop dumping all of your shit into the rivers, how about? These events, among others, did lead to eventually both rivers and multiple others being kind of cleaned up and more environmental policies being put in place and generally started off people starting to actually give more of a shit about the environment, which is overall a good thing. But it is still just crazy that the rivers were this polluted that they lit on fire.